with this episode title individual versus numbers i think it comes down to the strengths of both teams whereas there's no individual carry on karasuno they have to work as a full unit in order to be at their best whereas if any if push come to shove for uh shira torizawa they just give it to uh ushijima so you know that's the big debate here individual versus numbers which will come out top What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Q Season 3, Episode 5. Like I said, individual versus numbers. The last episode, the halo around the moon, Tsukushima, was amazing. Oh my lord. I I had to rewatch that scene at least five times, and it was just amazing each time. Just him screaming out, getting so excited, thinking about that moment. It was even amazing during editing. I'm just telling you, it was just an amazing episode, and I'm so glad they built his character up from being like the way he was to the way he is and we got to see his gradual progression throughout the entirety and i loved it i loved it and i'm so ready for set number three because they won the first one undoubtedly we won a second one so set three is about to be kicking i'm ready but remember guys if you guys want early access and full length to this show all the other shows i'm watching we're four episodes ahead on patreon make sure to check out the patreon down below if you guys want to support me and patreon's not really your thing if you guys could just leave a like and a nice comment down below it really does help me with the youtube algorithm if you guys are not subscribed please subscribe join the dapper squad hit that bell so you guys always know when i post and then follow me on all my social medias instagram twitch and twitter at dapper darius Thank you guys so much. But let's hop right into this. Q Season 3, Episode 5, Individual versus Numbers. I am so excited. He forced him to go that spot, I knew he would, and then fucking quickly sidelined him. Oh my god, I love that scream, bro. People told me that in the manga he didn't even scream like that, but the voice actor just killed it so much, that's probably why they changed it. I love it. I love the change. I love the scream. Yep, he purposely made that opening. With his just ultimate strength. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. <laughs> he didn't even have to yell at him this time. He says, you already know what you did wrong. You know how to fix it. Needs to make sure he keeps his head in the game. I feel it. Ooh, the resolve is pretty... See, that's what I love about all the teams. They all have the members with their flaws and ambitions and drives. And I can't knock anybody with passion and ambition, you know. It's all good. Don't mind. Don't mind. Hell yeah. Yep. それでも思ってしまった。優れたチームワークも数人がかりの攻撃も全部無視せん。高さとパワー。一番かっこいい。Yeah, so that's that's an that's an interesting a visualization to grow up on seeing the skilled elegant teamwork looking up to Oikawa being able to do that but then seeing an individual who's able to stop all that single-handedly with power and resolve and for I, I get why he would want to be able to fight like that where if all that's failed we can win with just an open toss understandable I understand how he got to that point by watching someone like Oikawa you know <laughs> that's where he came out with that resolve Okay, I like that. I, I understand why he would think like that. Oh my god, this man is a maniac. That is... Hell yeah. Size doesn't matter at all. You're gonna stop him. I get I get why he's saying that. Oh, they never tell us what Tsukushima is about to say. 
but then it always ends up working because he didn't say it. <laughs> On the right and attacks. You and I both block. Let's tighten up the cross side. Okay, tighten it up a little more. What is that going to lead to? Yes, yeah, so it's not gonna and it's not gonna obstruct Nishinoya as much. He's gonna be able to, and he's the ultimate defense. He's the super liberal. Okay, <laughs> yeah, he is. I love Sukashima's analytical ability. I love it. It's par none besides like Kenma, you know. And you're not the only one with a powerhouse ace. Come on. <laughs> Because he sees the most potential in you, you know? Count on you the most, that's what I'm saying, I like that. <laughs> He's so much like Hinata. Way too, yeah, see? That's their two different ideologies clashing about blocking. I think both of them are valid. You know, I'd probably go with Tsukushima's more often, more consistent, but. That was nice. That was nice. Oh, that's hilarious. One touch. Nice save. Yep. Numbers versus individuals. This is what we're doing. That is Tai Chi, right? That was a good block on his part. That was the first time our synchronized combo has been stopped, yeah. Normally, that's like a top tier move. Oh, old man Ukai again, man. <laughs> so good seeing him at these things. Yeah, the legendary man. I get chills even just seeing him here, man. <laughs> I do remember he has a he has an old rivalry. Touche, touche. Yeah, exactly. Ideology is what I said, but concept, same thing. <laughs> Look at that smile, that grin. <laughs> I love it. Nice try. It's hard. It's difficult. I can't blame you. Right? That's how you know he's into it. That's how you know he's feeling it. Every time, man, we pull something out of our sleeve, like a little card or ace of the sleeve, they are just equally able to counter it. He's the miracle boy, Tendo, not us. Right. That's the thing, we're going against a powerhouse. <laughs> He's getting into it, I love it. We have to win this set, and it's gonna go to a set five, obviously. That's crazy. Nice save. Nice. He was able to tell Shirabu's block was lower. I'm telling you, I love it. What is it, 10 11 now, them? That's true. Not only Ushijima said he needs to work on some other things, but Tsukushima as well. Yeah, he would never have played volleyball. Yo, know, that shit only drives him even further, which I hope it does right now. Right? You have to make up for it in other areas. What's he gonna do? Oh, 
Matsumoto. Gave you the man man. I love when they do that wing shot from Hinata from behind. Oh, he's so high when he does his run up for like. Jesus, he jumps so high. <laughs> right? That's hilarious. You can't fight with height, what are you gonna do? Who said I'm not fighting with height? That's true. That's true. I'm glad they're telling us the cons of this too. Good valid reasonings why he shouldn't do that. Jump straight up. But for now, he says you can go to the sides too. Interesting. Ukai is really good at adapting to Hinata's crazy style. <laughs> this goes back and forth. Is that my boy Iwaizumi? <laughs> my boys, the goats! <laughs> Look at their drip, they're wavy. <laughs> yep, time it perfectly. What are you gonna do? Oh, had to faint, but then we were able to see that, and then we went for the decoy combo attack with Tanaka, and then he one touched it. And then Goshiki got it, and then over to Ushijima for the spearhead, and then Hinata's coming back with Tanaka. Oh, the one touch again? This fucking rally, oh my god. Don't get horned out. Hinata's going again. Endo was not paying attention, oh my god. Hell yeah. That is a senpai's job. It's my boy, IQ. Oh. <laughs> that we're even here fighting you guys, right? Hell yeah. Oh, that was a. Oh, this season's so great. Oh my god, I knew it would be a battle of ideologies and concepts in this match, the individual versus numbers, but I love Shirabu's little backstory on seeing numbers, but also an individual Oikawa, and seeing Ushijima, how he can stomp that out, and wanting to be in support of that, thinking how that's the coolest way to play. And then you have people like Old Man Ukai, who's the exact opposite, who, you know, who thinks because of people's disadvantages, because of... You know, like there's so many other aspects that give you an advantage versus just your individual strength, height, stuff like that. And then you have Ushijima who said over to Hinata, if you can't fight with height and your technique is clumsy, why are you even here? And he's like, whoa, whoa, first off, who said I'm not fighting with height? And then he came out, you know, this little run jump thing, which wasn't tactically the best thing to do. But with Tanaka and Kageyama supporting the side slash Kageyama in the middle, if he needs to set, he can just run back and forth, do whatever he needs because he doesn't need to go back to hit the net. He can just run to the side, to the side with Tanaka being his little support senpai. Same with Kageyama. It's, just, it's working out beautifully. That rally with the one touch. Oh, my God. This show is so damn good. It truly is. And so what's the score? Like 1918, 1920, 188, somewhere right around there in the fourth set. They have two. We have one. We have to win this next one. And then we have to win the next one. Is that what's gonna happen? And bro, if Shira Torizawa loses to us, oh my god, that's gonna be a monumental. This is the show it just blows me away every episode. It really does. Uh, but on that note, I think I am going to head out, watch this next one. If you guys did enjoy, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts in those comments down below. Of course, if you guys are not subscribed, please subscribe. Join that Dapper Squad. Follow me on all the social medias, Instagram, Twitch, and Twitter, at Dapper Darius. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want early access and full length, check out that Patreon down below. Always an option for y'all. See you in this next one. Peace out, you guys. <laughs>